Hello everyone. This song I'm going to play for you is called The Streets of London. And there's a, a short story actually preceding it. In 1977, I was in a halfway house called Trelawne. And uh, prior to that, I was in a treatment centre for alcoholism called Pinnell House. Anyway, I was in, in Trelawne and I was kind of feeling a bit lonely and I thought, I'll contact the only relative, really, I was still in touch with, and that was um, a lady called Flory, a great auntie. So I wrote her a letter explaining what had happened to me uh, in a general way. And um, when I posted it, I kind of thought, oh, you know, she is not going to understand. However, I've learned a lesson here, about the first, first lesson I learned about not prejudging somebody. Uh, there's a saying, the other person's grass is always greener, but it has to be mowed. Anyway, she sent me a letter back telling me that um, when she was 21 in 1923, the, the whole family sailed to New York City. Her father had some business there. And um, her brother went with them, and the brother got into the speakeasy scene there. This was the year the world went mad, prohibition in New York, in America, everywhere. And he started drinking this, uh, this really bad alcohol. And uh, it killed him, basically, it killed him. So she really did understand uh, my situation. And she welcomed me with open arms. She said, come down, Jim, and, uh, you know, come and stay with me for a few days. So I hitchhiked down. There's a story there. I won't go into it too much. But one of the lifts I've got was in a VW microbus. And it was a guy who, actually him and his partner, um, designed the Nat West sign and he sold the logo, they sold the logo for an awful lot of money and he, he went around the world in a VW microbus with his wife and two children and he was in the Guinness Book of Records. He was an interesting man. Anyway, I eventually got there and we had a chat about the family and stuff and then she said, um, do you play that guitar that I brought down? And I said, I do, Flory, yeah, I play it. And she said, well, play me a song. So I played this song. And this is why it's been quite significant, really, for me in my life. And uh, because I played it for her that first time, and then I learned to drive in recovery, and uh, used to drive down and see her. I got married. Me and my ex-wife used to drive down, and then we had three children, three daughters, and she became like a mother to me, Flory, and a grandmother to my, my daughters. So I'll play it for you now. It's called the streets of London. Have you seen the old man in the clothes down? Market, kicking up the papers with his worn out shoes In his eyes you see no pride and hand out loosely at his side Yesterday's papers telling yesterday's news How can you tell me you're lonely and say for you the sun don't shine Take you by the hand, I lead you through the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. Have you seen the old girl who walks the streets of London? Dirt in her head, clothes in no time for talking, she just keeps right on walking, carrying her world to carry her back. So how can you tell me you're lonely and say for you the sun don't shine? Let me take you by the hand, I'll lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind And in the all-night cafe at a quarter past eleven Same old man, 
sits there on his own Looking at the world over the rim of his teacup And each tea lasts an hour and he wanders home alone So how can you tell me you're lonely And say for you the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand of Egypt Through the streets of London I'll show you something to make you change your mind Have you seen the old man outside the seaman's mission? Medals fading with the ribbons that he wears And in this winter city the ring cries a little pity There's one more forgotten hero in a world that doesn't care So how can you tell me you're sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something make you change your mind This next song's called You've Got a Friend written by Carol King about 35 years ago. That's funny that because um, I played uh, this song amongst you know uh, I was telling my story with music to a little church group a few years ago down in Sussex and um, one of the ladies there she was well into her 90s and after I'd played this particular song she said um, oh she said that's a lovely song young man she said did you write it? I said, no, no, I didn't write it. <laughs> I wish I had done, really. It's a bit like the Don McLean story, isn't it? When um, he was asked by a journalist, the journalist said, Don, what does it mean writing American Pie? And Don looked at him and said, well, it means that I'll never work again. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't write this. Carol King wrote it. But it's a, it's a great song, and it's a song really, um, it's all about fellowship and friendship, and uh, that's the spirit of it, so uh, here it comes. When you're down and you're troubled and you need the helping hand And nothing, no nothing is going right Close your eyes and think of me Soon I will be your darkest night You just call out my name And you know wherever I am Well I come running See you again And I'll be there You've got a friend If the sky right above you Should turn dark and full of clouds Call up my name And 
You've got a friend.